Thanks for joining us tonight. A legal challenge is mounting as Governor Evers announces a new statewide mask mandate that will take effect on Saturday. Under the order, masks will need to be worn by everyone five and up while in all enclosed spaces except a person's home. Here is the current list of states that have a mask mandate. Wisconsin was the only state with a Democratic governor that didn't have one before today, but this new mandate will face legal challenges. Our Adam Duxter joins us with the latest development. Oh, Eber says the chance to issue a mask mandate is something he's wanted to do for weeks. Starting Saturday, Wisconsin will become the 33rd state to do just that. While some are critical of this move, he says the growing number of coronavirus cases proves it's necessary. A few months ago, Wisconsin was in pretty good shape. The numbers were improving and we've made and we we had made real progress in fighting this virus. Unfortunately, things have changed drastically since then. Governor Tony Evers with a serious tone in a media briefing today as he laid out what he says are worsening coronavirus numbers throughout the state of Wisconsin. Although we're fighting the same pandemic, we find ourselves in a completely different situation than one we were in just a few months ago. Evers and DHS Secretary Andrea Palm say 61 of Wisconsin's 72 counties are now showing high coronavirus activity, with just two, Rusk and Florence, showing low levels of COVID. Today, for the second time in four months, Evers declared coronavirus a public health emergency. Now, anyone over the age of five faces a $200 fine for not wearing a mask inside restaurants, shops, or any indoor space, with exceptions for things like eating, drinking, and physical activities such as swimming. Some, like Rick Essenberg of Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, say this goes beyond Evers' powers. No governor, whether they're a Republican or a Democrat, has the right to declare a health emergency have it expire after 60 days, and then simply declare another public health emergency based upon the same underlying event. Essenberg says while he doesn't have an issue with wearing a mask, he feels to enact a policy, Evers would have to do so through the legislature. We don't live in a society where a chief executive makes the law that we live under. We don't have a king, we don't have a dictator. We have a governor. Evers says while well, he's worried this order could be taken to court, he feels it necessary to protect the public. Now that mass policy is set to last through at least September 28th. And some have pointed out that Saturday is the last day on the bench for conservative Justice Daniel Kelly, who, if you remember, was the deciding vote in the Supreme Court's 4-3 to ruling to overturn Safer at Home in May. Now many feel if this issue were to go to the Supreme Court, it would not be overturned. Eber says that has nothing to do with the timing of this decision.